Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Just Assassin. I'm back at it once again with UFC 3. My heavyweight, Leroy Holmes. This is my video UFC Fight, n fight 9, I believe. Yes, Fight 9. Um, I ask you to sit back, relax. Uh, I'm fighting my first rival, Alistar Overeem. And uh, let's see if we can take him down. I'm probably going to skip through the training with him. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that for the next time. Um, and we'll get straight to the fight. Let's do it. Got around uh, half a million money in this game. And then around 630,000 fans. So, should be a tough fight. Right, jumping right forward. Let's get right to the fight. Looks like uh, we're the main event of UFC 262. I'm going to keep my home. I'm going to go to Universal Home this time. Coming into this fight 16-0. and 0. Most by standing up knockout. I have to watch his, uh, his uh, flying knees. And his head kicks. That's all over social media. Looks about even. Maybe one more positive than negative. I'm going to pull this one out. Two positive by fellow UFC fighters. Gunnar Nelson and Neil Magny. I'm Megan Olivia, and this is your UFC Minute. This weekend, we brace for a crucial matchup, which is expected to shake up an entire division. To get into position for a world title shot, this fighter has fought tooth and nail against the best the heavyweight division has to offer. And while getting into a number one contender's match is sweet enough, if this fighter beats his heated rival to earn that shot at the belt, the victory would be even more satisfying. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. There goes nothing. All right, so here he is, folks, the wait. Jumping right to the fight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight We'll do the fight. tail of the tape. The American is 23. The Brit is 41. He weighed in at... Looks about even. You ready to fight? You ready? And we are underway. All right, so here we go with round one as we get this rivalry matchup underway. These fighters, of course, do not like each other. They have said... Oh, oh no. Come on, posture up. Big punch from the bottom. All right, let's stand up. The Reed gets up. That's the good news. Bad news is Joe. He looks hurt. Back off a little bit. Let's back off a little bit. Tried to do a Superman jump that down. Ooh, he's getting me. Let's take him to the ground. Come on. 
It's gonna make me. It's gonna make. Not, he's getting me good. He's out. Oh my goodness. Switched up my stance, knocked him out. Oh, geez. I did not see that one coming. I switched up my stance, did a roundhouse kick to his right. Finished him off. was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Caught him right there, had him in all sorts of trouble. A signature move right there, overhand punch. Check out this angle here. Finished him off with some hammer fists. All right, the official decision is inside the octagon. That's where we oh find Oh my goodness. I expected this one to be harder, especially because my difficulty is on hard. Yes, I just flash knocked out. So the rivalry fight lives up to the hype, and man, is that one happy winner right there as he celebrates with his coaches. He wanted this one that was in the awesome. worst way, and he gets it in a big way. Congratulations nice on job, winning guys. this rivalry matchup here tonight. On to bigger and better things. My goat progress. And I had, nope, I thought I had fight of the night. I guess not. That probably should have been fight of the night, unless there was some type of awesome submission or knockout. I have no idea. Ten thousand views already. For this social media news. Gonna end it with 12-5. 12-5. And Dana White. That's the way to end it right there. Nice end to the rivalry. And a new contract. I get 39,000 just to show up and then 42,000 on top of that if I win. A nice little incentive. And we have the champion calling me out. I respect Stipe. I think that's how you say his name. I'm not quite sure. But um, I respect him. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to under, undersell our fight. But I think I'm just going to go with a, just a gentle, a chill response to him. Let's see who we fight next. I think I broke into the top five with that win over Overeem. I'm t yeah, it looks like I'm fourth now, so. I think I'm going to fight Stefan, the skyscraper. But that is where I'm going to end it. Thank you again for joining me for this rivalry fight, fight with Alistair Overeem. This will be fight nine of my UFC 3 heavyweight career with Leroy Holmes. I'm the Just Assassin. Until next time, take it easy. Don't forget to subscribe, leave comments, whether positive or negative. Any feedback is much appreciated. Maybe you wanted to see the whole training camp. Maybe you wanted to see the walkout, whatever comments, just throw them my way. I would love to respond to them. Until next time, take it easy.